Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms, and we're finally going to be back on the farm today. We got a farm video, so I'm going to head to the farm right now. I got a shop project I want to take care of, so I'm finally dressed in the attire. Shout out to Brown Farms, check him out, sweet hat, and let's head out. Alrighty guys, just got up to the farm. It's been way too long since I was here last, so don't have a ton of time. You got a couple hours, so let's get rolling. Alrighty, I need to switch shoes. Alrighty guys, so that was, I'm good. Alrighty, now time for the project. Let me explain this thing to you, you guys a little bit. So, if you guys remember last year, if you guys don't, I took the side-by-side -side for majority of the fields that we have, and I created a boundary, a boundary around them to essentially help with our spraying, help with our planting. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I'll throw a card right about right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that receiver off of that sprayer, put it right there. I'm gonna take, go get the Pro 700 out of the combine, put it right there, and we're gonna go from there. So let's get going. Alrighty, let's hop up. And of course the light's not working back here so you guys won't be able to see much, but there you go. So I'm gonna take that receiver off and bring it to the side by side. Take a picture of it so I remember. Remember which one it is. Selfie. It's a great selfie. I'll throw it up there. This way I remember which which harness it goes into. If I can actually get at this thing, it'd be nice. There we go. Sweet. Let's go ahead and go put this thing on the side by side. So the reason why we're putting this receiver in particular because it has the RTX activ activation, which is, it's not RTK, it's not, but it is cellular based. It's sub inch or inch, I'm not quite sure, but it's not RTK, but it's the next best thing. So we we'll go ahead and throw that on the side by side. basically just a latch right here you slide it in and then you push the little pull cable I'm not quite sure what it is I'll show you what it is right now but so I do that and I hook up this thing to the front what side was it this side I can't remember what side it was so I'm just gonna double check Good thing I checked. What was this side? Alrighty. She's mounted up. Now time to go get the receiver. Or the monitor. Alrighty, tough to see guys, but here's the Pro 700 I gotta take out. I actually stole this one from the tractor, so it's gotta come out anyway, but there's the Pro 700. It's just on a ram mount in the back. So all I gotta do is just pull it out. That blue, t that, uh, Puck will actually come out too, because that's going to go on the sprayer. So we'll pull this out of there. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and get video of this, guys. It's too dark in here. Sorry. That doesn't help either. I already just popped the harness out, guys. I'll pull this monitor off, like so. Just kidding. Can't take it off quite yet. It's zip tied. I got to go get a wire snips, and then we'll be good. While I'm going back to get some wire snips, we have the quad in here. We have our cattle trailer and our nice blue truck, on our newer blue truck. We got the Steiger in the back, New Holland Forge Harvester FR 9060. We got the 2588 combine in the back, and we got the 7088 combine, which I was just in. Pat and Nathan are feeding cattle right now. Kitty! Kitty! So Pat and Nathan are feeding cattle right now, and I am going to finish doing this. 
I was just gonna snap to when I could find them, but I'm gonna show you guys how I wish something I wish I could do is organize this. All right, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt. There's gotta be some side cutters on here somewhere. Hmm. 10 snips I found right there. Hmm. Well, I don't see any side cutters. It also doesn't help that I haven't been here in a couple weeks. I don't know where everything's at. Oh, these will work. Yeah, these will work. Just kidding. A little big. But I found some. It was staring at me right in the face. So I'm an idiot. In case you guys are curious, I don't know how you can see, but the gravel is a good three inches below this. Literally an ice skating rink. Literally. Alrighty, let's head back to the to the campaign. Kitty! Kitty! Hi! Bye. All right, heading back to the combine. You guys can't see anything. Skip to when I get to the combine. All right. See all you guys can see. But right there is what I need to cut. Right there. Make sure I'm not going to cut anything. Now, of course, I grabbed the rustiest pair I could find. Oh wow, these are bad. There's like no cutting edge. There we go. There we are. All right, let's take it. All right, let's head back to the shop. Here goes Nathan. You guys all done? No, not yet, we all more. Jeez, what do you guys work on today? Probably a lot to haul. Yeah, it was sloppy. I believe it. You got to make any feed run, feed runs? Oh uh, yeah, actually tomorrow. Makes sense. Makes sense. There goes Pat. Nathan said it was pretty sloppy home in her today. But I can believe it because it was like 40 degrees today. So I was just making things a mess around here. Even more of a mess than they are right now. There we go. I need to take this off. Maybe 10 mil, or not 10 mil. Actually, it might be a 10 mil. I don't know, a field view. But a 10 mil is close to a, no. It is a 10 mil wrench. Darn metric system. All right, I found a 10 mil. So you take this field view bracket off. We can put it in the side by side. Oh, not the side by side, put it in the sprayer. There we go. Throw this bad boy in the side by side. <coughs> you getting sick? What? You getting sick? Shit. Let's see if she turns on. What do you got to say? Nothing. I'm ready for spring. <laughs> You look like you're ready for bed. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm ready for spring too, but as you just said, we're probably still a month and a half away. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, but what do you do? All right, well, let's see. It's blinking red and orange. Not quite sure what that means. Power's on, I think. Uh, that's pretty, I don't know. 
It doesn't. It's yeah. The battery's dead. Yeah, but it's pulling directly off the battery. Yeah. Works. Well, at least we got it mounted on there. So what you gotta do next? If you guys get it running before I get here, basically just gotta measure it. So you got coordinates for the combine, I'm assuming, or basically measurements from the globe down to the ground. What you wanna do is be measure globe, probably to straight down. So you like no front to back, mm -hmm. so zero. But I'd recommend put it measure how how far it is from here to approximately right here like straight sideways, and then go over a foot. So I guess what I was thinking is, and so last year we had it basically right on the edge of this machine. If we have it over a foot, that way we can drive right along the edge of the field, but still be over an extra foot. That yeah. way we can make sure Pat never gets shut off yeah. for something he shouldn't have shut off at. Yeah. So. <coughs> Especially on the edges. That's exactly right. So. Nope, I'm just trying to think of fields that we missed last year, uh, or stuff we need to redo. Because we got Zymets, we got across the road, we got McDonald's, we got your place. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to look. But I imagine we're going to redo some waterways. Yeah. In spring. Oh, yeah. I'll always do something like that. But at least we got this thing in. <coughs> yep. Feeding cattle. Take this, la this last bunch up over to the pit to get it filled up. And then probably do some more odds and end stuff and then call our night. But I just got word from Nathan that there might be some interesting stuff happening in the harvesting department. So stay tuned. Tarp. Just cleaned up the tarp and now I'm gonna finish feeding cattle. Alright, and so before I start up this tractor, the PTO guys, what we're mixing in is ear corn, distillers, silage, earlage, uh, corn, and gluten. So he's putting it and ground up hay. So let's start up the PTO. It's just getting too dark right now. We'll cut to when I'm back with the skid loader. Alrighty guys, in the new skid loader right now. It's already got 344 hours on it. We already put on 40 hours or so. So I'm gonna take this thing back to the back to the shed. Let's go. There's the feeder wagon. There's the feeder wagon and let's head back. 
Alrighty, back in the shop. Let's kill her. There she goes. Alrighty. Oh, let's head out of here. Okay, sorry I don't have more meat in this video. I was hoping that this this bad boy would start. It doesn't, but I got everything swapped over and hooked up. So now we just gotta we got basically we gotta fix this, we gotta fix this, we gotta fix that other four-wheeler. There's they all got their own issues, but but basically, um, we're pretty much ready to start doing boundaries as soon as we can. Um, I hear Pat yelling when he's feeding, feeding cattle right now. But anyway, so like I said, we got oh, at least five, 600 acres of boundaries to do. Just we need to get this thing running. It won't take us terribly long, just a couple days to do it. But we gotta get those done because if we don't get it done soon, it's not going to get done. But anyway, then shout out for Brian. Definitely check him out. Um, yeah, let's see. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what the big plans are for the next couple of weeks, but I know we are gonna be bringing cows, mama cows back home, heifers back home, because they're gonna start calving here in the next couple of weeks, we're thinking. So gonna got some videos that are gonna be coming up on that. We got, we're contemplating some really big changes on the farm here, guys like some massive changes, like we haven't made these type of changes in probably eight to 10 years type of changes. So stay tuned for that. We don't know if any of this is gonna materialize, but we're heavily considering it, um, especially this year, knowing the circumstances that we have in the next year or so. But anyway, like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail on that because I don't know anything, nothing is at all confirmed, but as soon as we do know, you guys will be the first to know. So but anyway, like I said, guys, we don't have a ton left. This sprayer is going to be gone tomorrow. We're going to be hauling corn, fixing equipment, getting stuff ready for spring. Uh, cattles, cattle every day, hauling manure, uh, bedding cattle, feeding cattle, um, moving cows back, start calving. And before, sooner or later, spring is going to be upon us and we're going to have to go hit it full force. But it is definitely messy outside, guys. We got three to six inches of ice everywhere out in the yard. So, but anyway, guys, like I said, Hope I got a decent video for you guys. Um, probably the next video is gonna be a cattle video. Don't, hopefully we'll be shooting that on Wednesday. But anyway, uh, I'm, gonna hope you, I'm gonna end this video right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now. Real quick, guys, before I sign off, I'm just here putting the final edits on this video and I just needed to add the shout out in there. Um, I've come across this channel in the last week or so ever since uh, Suzanne at WT What the Farm Girl uh, shared it with me. It was uh, Andy Detweiler, Detweiler at Harmless Farmer. He is a farmer who has been doing it for ooh, 15 years without any arms. I've, I'm going to misquote that, but at least for a long time he's been farming without arms and he just started a YouTube channel. Just the fact that he can vlog without any arms is absolutely amazing. This guy has... It's so cool what he can accomplish with just feet. Like just driving, everyday things that we take for granted is something that this guy deals with every single day with only having two, uh, only using two feet. So anyway, his channel has blown up lately. You guys need to check him out. Uh, just search Harmless Farmer on YouTube and you guys will find him and you will not be disappointed. Check him out.